Chuki Okobi back with more basic instructions, mind mastery. You know, some people ask me why I do what I do now as a mental performance coach for business leaders and entrepreneurs. I imagine they're thinking about how so many former athletes go into coaching the sport they used to play or into the broadcast booth when they're done with their playing days. What you may not realize is that I actually am sharing with the world what I learned from my experience the days back when I played pro football. It's just not the aspects of my experience from back then that first come to mind. You know, for me, I think growing up in a house without a father figure, it's natural for young men to look to men in their lives as examples of how they themselves should be. When I think back on it, during my early years playing sports, what I did unconsciously is find my male role models. I collected father figures, men that I looked up to and from whom I learned what I believed it meant to be a good and successful person. Thinking back to when I was younger, this intense love I feel now for sports and my deep desire to develop into the very best that I can be. I'm sure you can easily see how I could be naturally drawn to men like this. You can relate to my perspective. In the context of my team, I saw my coach as the leader of the pack, the head of the tribe, the standard I want to meet, and our loving protector. I watched him very closely, focused in as I hang on to his every word. I mean, this is somebody I can definitely benefit from. And I imagine that's how your team, your clients and customers see you as the leader of your company. Just a slightly different kind of game we're coaching. Am I right? You know, who I had coaching me along the way in my journey made all the difference in my professional success in college and in the NFL. One of my most valuable relationships that I have from my time at Purdue University is the bond I formed with my coach, my offensive line coach, Danny Hope. When I think about the great coaches I had at different levels, I can confidently say that Coach Hope, without a shadow of a doubt, that this coach is the guy who made the biggest impact in my professional life. I mean, he was truly a father figure to me. The invaluable wisdom I gained from listening to him, it's a feeling I can't even imagine the words to express. And one lesson that I treasured that really made me look at myself and evaluate how I feel about myself today as a professional it came from a conversation that I had with coach about recruiting. I mean, when you think about it, that's really all college coaches do is recruit. So this lesson is something that came up all the time when we talked. He would tell me, you know, when I think about it, me as a coach, just give me the players. I'll get the job done one way or another. I'll find a way to win. When I think about recruiting, though, there are only two types of people I can recruit. That's it. Just these two. You have mules and you have thoroughbreds. Now, if I'm coaching a mule, I know I can get the job done with him. I'll figure it out. But remember, he's a mule. So I know as a coach, I'm going to have to use pain as a motivator, use the stick and beat the mule to get any productivity out of him. See, what I'm looking to coach are thoroughbreds. If you're a thoroughbred, now, a lot of people think they're thoroughbreds, but are you really? Think about it. From my perspective, if you're a thoroughbred, you've got the mindset to win. You were born for this, right? If you're a thoroughbred, I don't need you to feel pain to motivate you. I don't need the stick. All I need to do is give you the basic instructions of how to get exactly what you want, open the gate, and watch you run. Give me a thoroughbred to coach, and you'll see him do things that you wouldn't believe if you didn't see it yourself. And all I could think about it when he told me this is, man, this is deep. I thought to myself, well, which one am I? Am I a mule or a thoroughbred? And I imagine that you're probably wondering the same thing. There's a simple way to tell, actually. Let me go deeper, and I'll, I'll explain. Now, what does it mean to be a mule? Picture it. Yeah, you have big goals. You'd love to have that picture, that perfect picture of success you see in your mind. But falling short in the past has you feeling tentative, fearing a repeat of those past failures. And even as the dust settles, after nearly two years of upheaval in the marketplace with the pandemic and economic downturn, do you still find yourself in damage control mode, focused on avoiding the pain of the unexpected obstacles that may come up in the future for your business? Probably wondering when you'll regain that feeling of control. Is that same old story going round and round in your mind, feeling anxiety as you obsess about what could go wrong? And is this song playing so loud in your mind right now? Then when the gate opens and you see this opportunity right in front of you, this chance to achieve what you deeply desire, do you need some outside force like the stick? Do you need to feel pain, fear, anxiety to get you in the race? It's like Coach said, a lot of leaders and entrepreneurs think they're thoroughbreds, but are you really? If you want to know if that's you, simply ask yourself this question. Think about it like this. 
when it comes to achieving your goals in your career, making the positive changes in your business, your mindset, your relationships with yourself and with others, when you think about what's what it's going to take to create that Super Bowl level sensation in your life and career and experience, then when you think about it right now, it gives you those, those butterflies, that feeling of excitement in your stomach. I mean, imagining a career that makes your pulse race and your breath shallow, you hear your heart beating in your ears, see those things now. A life, a business, a career that makes you feel levels of pleasure, excitement and satisfaction that feels so right. It almost feels wrong. And if I gave you the basic instructions to create this vision in your mind, and then I just open the gate, would I need the stick to get you to move? Or would just the idea of living that Super Bowl success in your career and business make you feel enough motivation and inspiration to take the necessary actions to win? See, what I've learned over the years coaching leaders is that thoroughbreds aren't born, they're raised. All you need to do is make the decision to seek out what you don't know that you don't know, the basic instructions of my mastery for success. Now, each and every one of us humans living on planet Earth are the owner of the most powerful supercomputer in all of nature, the human mind, the same human mind that created the wheel, the same one that landed perseverance on Mars. Its capabilities are limitless. And since you own one, that means there's no limit to what you can be, do, or have in your career, your business, and your life. Now, I don't know about you, but all that I needed was the right coach to give me the basic instructions of exactly how to use the tools that I was born with to create my desired Super Bowl level experience in my career, in my life. That's what basic instructions, mind mastery, coaching and leadership training is all about. See, my passion is sharing with entrepreneurs my experience of getting all the way to the Super Bowl. That's the role that I play today, like a football coach watching your back up in the press box. When you're focused on doing your job, things down there on the field seem complex and you're struggling, you're tired of wrestling with anxiety or negative thoughts. Your coach is right here to point out your blind spots, give you a clearer, broader perspective of how to more easily and directly achieve your company's objectives and your individual career goals. See, by gaining a deeper understanding of what's going on with your thoughts and your emotions, this empowers leaders to learn, apply, and perfect more effective motivation strategies. Because remember, emotions are simply energy in motion. Think about it, emotions. So what's the energy in your gas tank? I mean, I want to be motivated by that Super Bowl sensation. That's the emotion I want to feel. So which one are you? Just ask yourself, am I a mule or am I a thoroughbred? Success is simple if you know the basic instructions of mind mastery. <laughs>